We begin with breaking news tonight. The state is suspending payments of check and direct deposits to taxpayers because of an increase in fraudulent tax returns. Thanks for joining us tonight. Mike has the evening off. North Dakota Tax Commissioner Ryan Rauschenberger says his department has seen a spike in tax fraud using identity theft. And we do not have a specific time frame as how long we will be suspending refunds. Um, I do ask that the taxpayers will be patient. Again, this is, this is a measure to make sure that fraudulent returns have not been submitted. Now, this comes just a day after Minnesota's Department of Revenue stopped accepting e-filings of tax returns from Intuit's TurboTax program after they got reports of tax fraud. And now there's going to be an in-depth review of returns. Valley News Team's Ashley Bishop answers the questions you may have. I already filed. Will this affect me? Seriously, I just turned in my state last night. The TurboTax filing issues have many taxpayers asking questions. Has the fraud only shown up after people have filed or after you entered your information? Minnesota Department of Revenue officials say they heard this morning from Intuit on the issues regarding TurboTax. More than 2,500,000 Minnesota tax returns have already been filed. Investigators are looking into about 2,000 TurboTax returns for potential fraud. You know, the issue that we're hearing about right now and that we've seen is with Intuit and the TurboTax, both the desktop and the online product. Um, we haven't seen anything at this time with our other software vendors. Steinblock says they are still accepting returns filed with Intuit Professional Preparer products. But what does this mean if you already filed using TurboTax? Steinblock advises people to just sit tight. So if you've already filed and you received an accepted notification from, you know, the, the uh, TurboTax software, you don't need to do anything. We will review the returns, and if we see an issue, we'll notify the taxpayer. You know, if they filed last night, they won't get an acceptance, but they should just hold tight. Steinblock says they're waiting on TurboTax to address the issues before they start accepting the recently filed returns. Minnesota and North Dakota officials are advising people to continue filing electronically and file as soon as they can. They say waiting to file will cause more delays in the end. The IRS frowns upon paper applications and encourage electronic filing. Stephanie? All right. Thanks, Ashley. Now, for more information on other tax software programs and where you can check on the status of your refund, Click on this story on valleynewslive.com. And coming up tonight on Valley News Live at 10, a local tax preparer offers advice on what you can do to make sure you're not a target of tax fraud.